Welcome to the basic electrical engineering. This in this video we will be doing some numericals based on some of the concepts, and we will begin with uh, question number nine. Question number nine. What is the question is given is find out the voltage V zero in the circuit. So watch carefully in the circuit that you have got one current source over here, another current source is here, but this source is dependent source. So if I1 is there, so somewhere in the circuit there must be I1, yes it is there in the I1 here. So whatever the current I1, that is how it is depend on. So now you have been asked what is the voltage across this 2 ohm resistor. And what you can do is now, because the current 1 is given, you need to give another current over here, another current over here and define the name here I1 and I2. Name of this nodes you will give A, B, C, D and make a KVL here you would like to give a KVL and at this node A you will give KCL and at this node A you will give KCL. <coughs> so if you give, sorry, if you give KCL you can say this current is entering, the current over here is coming out, the current over here is going out. Uh, so here it is a sum of like if this current is I2, so here is 4 ampere uh, minus I2 and uh, here it is minus of I1 is equal to 0. You can write in capital letter also uh, since the DC quantities. So the, it can be formed like this. Let us see the solution here. So here the yellow line where it is added up A, B, C and D. Here I1 is the current already there. So we take it like I2 as a current over here. With the I2 is you have defined a current I2. So based on the current I2, you give a sign convention that is plus and minus. Similarly, I3 is the current is you have defined. Based on I3, you will give a convention plus and minus. So now you will give a KVL across this. KVL in a close path A, B, C, D, D, A, B, D, C, A. In this close path, so you will get 2 I1. So because the current is here, 2 I1 is already there, plus sign, so plus. 2i1 then you encounter plus first so 2.5i3 then you encounter minus first then minus of 10 i2 is equal to 0 so first equation is done then at the point a you will find a kcl at node a so current here is going in so it is 4 i2 is going out minus i2 i1 is going out minus i1 so this is another equation so kcl at node b see that here i1 is cutting in so i1 is positive I3 is coming out, so it is negative. Here 5I1 is coming out, so 5I1 is coming negative. So you get another point in case here. So you have got three equations. So these three equations will help you to solve this problem and you will get finally what is the value of I1. So once you know what is the value of I1 is 20 amperes, so from the I1 you will get what is the value of V0, 20 into 2, that is 40 volts. <clears throat> Let us see another problem. We have to ask what is the R equivalent of the circuit. So, when R equivalent has been asked in this circuit, so try to solve from the backward or small, small uh, solution of like here 12 and 6. These two are in parallel, so just 12 into 6 by 12 plus 6 is 18. So, here this will give you 4. So, we can replace this 12 and 6 with 4. Now, these are 4 and 4, these are in parallel, so I can replace it with 8. This 2 and 10 are in series, sorry, this 4 and 4 are in series, we can replace by 8. This 2 and 10 are in series, we can replace by 12. Now, this 8 and this 12 are in parallel, so we can, this 2 we can multiply. 8 into 12 by 8 plus 12 is 20, and we can solve it. And this is like 4 uh, for 5, and this is getting some other term, uh, not divisible, so but we get some values, then we can solve this nicely. So let us see again, you have got 10 and 12, here is 12, uh, 10 and 2 is 12, here 4 and this one is 4, so this will be, a, this is 4 and 4, 16 as it is, 8 as it is. Now this entire circuit, these two are in, these two are in series, so these two are in parallel, so these two you make it 8, this is again 12, then 12 and 8 in parallel you can solve, and you will get 4.8, then you add these three in series and you get 28.8 ohms. Again another circuit is there, R12 is to be asked equivalent resistance. Uh, 
is being asked. So in this circuit, it's like a bit of complicated look like we can you make it simplified like uh, suppose this 12 ohm if it would not be uh, connected not in this way rather this 12 ohm would have been connected in this manner I think the things would look like more uh, easier and if this uh, D and B would have been merged so how does it look like let us see so if D and B would like this and C and A as it is I just take this 12 ohm uh, in the circuit a little bit out of way so this 12 will look like a parallel with 6 and 4 D and B are merged up uh, like it will, it will not merge it will like this D and B will be like here and we can take this point from here to here also because they are the same nodes so these three are in parallel which is in series with one so we can just write uh, all the terms and this entire thing will be uh, this is entire thing is two two and one in series so this thing will be three and three and six is in parallel so when we have this is two again this is again in parallel so like that we can find our equivalent is one 11.2 ohms so how easily we can solve the complex circuit just by small change in the circuit diagram. Another circuit is there, here also it looks uh, a little bit difficult but it's again very easy. See that these two are in parallel because they are uh, having sharing the common node over here. So 5 and 12 are in parallel. So again whatever you get this will be in series with the 1. Again this entire thing will be in parallel with 20. Then the same thing is in series with 2. Let us see this in the solution. So here this thing in parallel it will convert to 4 and this 1. This 4 and 1 becomes 5. Means 5 and 20 in parallel give you 4. This 2 as it is 6 and 4. This 4 and 2 is in series with the parallel with 6. This is 3. And then we get equivalent resistance is 7. Another problem is the equivalent resistance RAB where now you have got a little bit of question or problem where you have got uh, these two RMCs uh, but it also looks easy because these two are in series the entire thing is in parallel with uh, the 48 and then we get everything is series with 18 and then is parallel with 15 see that again uh, these two 10 and uh, 6 is 16 and 48 is in parallel 15 here and 18 over here so 16 and 48 are in parallel so it comes out to be uh, 12 12 and 18 in series this is 30 so this is 12 and 18 the 12 and 18 are coming to 30 and this 15 is in parallel with it so you merge it this this is 10 and the current is coming out to ampere so if the current is 2 uh, sorry the your current is 2 because the equivalent resistance is 10 that is why the current is 2 so we can have I square into R equivalence is 10 it is coming out to be 40 watt. So now we have got some problems where it is a star to delta or delta to star conversion. So delta network is already there A, B, C. So what is being asked is that you convert into a star. So let us convert this into a star. So let us say this is R A. So what we remember is R A is multiplication of opposite one. So 25 into 20 divided by sum of all this. So 25 plus 20 plus 15. Let us see that. So that is what R A is equal to multiplication of this and sum of this. So similarly you can go for R A, R B. So while calculating R B multiplication of 25 and 15 and then you can get R C also. In this way you will get all the three resistance. Now you have got a T network and you need to find what is the um, delta network. So what you need to do is you have to kind of make a delta network. So uh, let us have a delta network and let us say this is RAB. So RAB is what it's supposed to be. RAB is you need to have in the star. So just multiply everyone with every resistance with each other. So 10 into 20, 10, 20 into 30, then 30 into 10 then the total divided by its opposite resistance is 30. Let us see that. So RAV when we calculate we keep in the denominator RC. So RC is 30 ohms and uh, like that and RBC is similarly RA will be in RBC is here. RA is 10 ohm so you put a 10 ohm here you will get 110. RCA is 55 ohms.
One of the problem is here where you need to find RAB and I. RAB is equal resistance. Obviously, when you have equal resistance, you can find the current. So here you have got a complex network because in between these two nodes there is not a short circuit. There is 20 ohm. So many possibilities. This thing look like a delta. You can have a star connection over here. However, if you can take this, see that this is a star connection over here. So can you make it like a delta? Uh, so it will be a delta connection. So if this will be a delta connection, so what you can observe, this network is vanish. Uh, you remove this network, so you have a delta connection. This and this will be in pa uh, parallel. This and this in parallel. So together they will be in series and series with this. Let us see that. So here we convert into this uh, R12. R12, we name it 1, 2, 3, so that easy to connect, get uh, connected, R12. So, how to find R12 is just multiply all the terms from each other and divided by its 20, so we get R12. So, R12 is now here, this divided by 20, it is 90 ohms, so we return 90 ohms. Similarly, you get R3160 ohms and R2375 ohms. So, now what is 75 and 50 in parallel? This 60 and 10 is in parallel, so you just write 8.53 and 30. Now these two things in series, yes, and now the entire thing is you can evaluate, you get 40 ohms, and the current will be now 50 divided by 40 is 1.25 amperes. The now the problem is find out the R equivalent AB, so this is not so complex problem, just you need to spread it out, so if you spread this, uh, you can get uh, this network very simple and this is A and this is B. So if you just spread it out, it is, and this is short circuited. So obviously these two will be in parallel, these two will be in parallel and that thing is in series. So this is what is N to be and you get 10, these two in parallel, so at 4, 6 and 3 in parallel, you get 2, 8 in series, all these things you get to 24. And this is the last problem that is resistance between A and B is to be find A and B. So obviously you take, just take it a point that A and B is the resistance. Uh, A and B is the way you need to look at the entire resistance. So here you have got a circuit which is like a, as a T network is there. You can solve this T network and solve it. You can solve this uh, delta network and solve it. Many methods are possible. You can converge in. So what is the thing done here is, suppose this is 20, 20, 20, these three are there and it is in delta. So why not convert this into star, 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 what will get equal values get because these are all 20, so 6.67, all the same values everywhere. So now the circuit looks very easy that these things is in series 16.67 and these two are also in series 26.67. This will be there as it like this and 10 ohm will be there. So now these two we can solve with parallel, again this thing with series and together this thing is in parallel with 10. So you get RAB is equal to 6.06 ohms. So this is how we solve some of the numericals from the basic electrical engineering circuits. So in further sessions we will have another theory and followed by numericals. Thank you very much.